Hey everyone, today I am working on a laundry basket turned strawberry planter. I really like this idea because it's really inexpensive. I got this laundry basket at Walmart for about $6. It does not take up very much space and it's fun. You can go all out with color. Like they had this in a bright teal and a really bright orange. I went with white because my fencing's white. So the first thing I did was I punched a hole in the bottom for drainage to keep our plants really happy. And then I'm gonna line it with a burlap sack, kind of garbage bag style to where the flaps are hanging over the edge. Now I'm gonna fill it with some soil. So that worked out perfectly. The burlap will keep the soil inside the container. I picked this burlap sack up at the nursery where I work and any nursery that gets concrete in or pottery usually has a great big stack of these laying around. Otherwise you can find burlap at your local craft store. Now I'm just gonna grab my strawberries. All right, I got my strawberries, so now I'm just gonna cut the excess burlap around the edges. Voila. Okay, so all I have to do is cut holes where I want to plant my strawberries, and I'm just gonna go every so often and space them out nicely. And the back of this thing is gonna be up against a fence, so I'm not going to plant on the back side, just around the sides and the front. And I'm also going to skip the first few levels here because I'm gonna plant the top up with some pretty stuff and I want them to be able to have space to kind of drape a little bit. So here I go. Strawberry planting is done and it was super easy. It went really fast. And now I get to plant the top up with some pretty stuff, but I'm gonna put this on the ground so it's easier. Okay, so I'm gonna use kind of a thriller filler spiller approach to filling up the top of this container. I'm gonna use a canna for my thriller and this is a dwarf variety, so it won't get super big, but it still gives you that really pretty big bold, bold foliage. Like that. Next I'm gonna use for my filler a part in my Cerise Monarda and look at that color. It is so pretty, and this plant will bloom all through the summer. And then for my spillers, I'm gonna use a Supertunia Bordeaux because I love the color and I think it looks really pretty with the pink, and a little bit of gold dust for a really cute little yellow trailing accent. I'm gonna go move this into a nice bright sunny spot because all of these plants are sun lovers. And like the Supertunia is a pretty dramatic draping uh, trailing plant. So I'll make sure to keep it trimmed and pinched up so that it stays nice and tight and doesn't drape over our strawberries. And the gold dust doesn't trail quite as much. It'll stay nice and compact. So I might end up adding a couple more strawberries to fill in the space. We will be updating you guys on this project as the season progresses. And we really appreciate you watching. Make sure you're subscribed down below and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Other than gathering up my supplies for the project, putting it together only took about two minutes and look at the results. So the Supertunia and the Superbells prefer full sun and the Lobelia uh, prefers full sun to part sun. So I'm gonna put this 